Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy M53 and today I'll show you how you can enable and also set up your portable hotspot. Now to get started you will want to pull down your notification panel, expand it and look for the hotspot toggle, disregard the uh, page flip, that's from a SIM card. So let's locate our hotspot and for me it's right over here, mobile hotspot. Now the location of this toggle uh, should be unchanged or I haven't changed it so I assume for you the toggle will be in the same exact location because this is the default orientation of all of them. So once you locate it you want to hold the toggle the first time around and can connect to mobile network. Well okay flight mode is enabled so I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, so let's do it again. I'm gonna hold the toggle and as you can see it takes me to the settings. From here you want to select configure and you can change the network name if you want to, you can keep it as it is, it is visible so it, it is a fairly easy name to realize which hotspot it your, is yours because it does take the name of the phone itself. Uh, but what I do recommend you to change is the password. As you can see by default it's some randomly generated password uh, which just to know it you would have to navigate here but alternatively I recommend you just to remove this one and set your own. Now your password does need to have 8 characters in length, at which point you can save it. And below that we have some advanced options along with AP band. Now the band allows you to select from 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. Um, if you don't know what this is, I would recommend you to keep it at 2.4. It will ensure that your hotspot always works. And for everybody else who knows what this is, uh, then obviously you can choose respectively which one you will be utilizing. Now below that we have a couple options though, probably the one that I would recommend changing maybe is you turn off uh, when no device connected and that means that if no device is using your hotspot for 20 minutes it will then turn off the hotspot automatically. Now. I'm going to change it to 10 minutes just because 20 minutes is a little bit lengthy and 10 minutes already seems like a decent en enough timer for this. And below that we have a couple additional options. Like I mentioned, for the most people I recommend keeping majority of the settings uh, as they are by default. This will ensure that your hotspot will work basically almost every single time you need it. So anyway, make sure you select the save button right here. And from there you can close this, find your toggle once more, and this time around simply tap on it. Select turn on, and our hotspot is right now running. So you can connect your hotspot whenever you need to. Once you're done with it, uh, you can either wait for the timer to turn it off automatically, or you can turn it off yourself by tapping on the toggle once more, like so, and this will disable it. Now one more info, when you turn on your hotspot it turns off when you turn on, if I said turn off. So yeah, when you turn on hotspot, uh, it turns off Wi-Fi because it uses the same antennas. Uh, you cannot use uh, hotspot and Wi-Fi at the same time. So just to show that off, if you turn it on, you can see that Wi-Fi is now enabled or disabled. And if I would turn off my hotspot, it will re-enable Wi-Fi. So that is something to keep in mind uh, when using hotspot, you will always be using only mobile network for everything. But anyway, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.